Hi guys. I'm back with a reading for the 8th through the 15th for you guys. <clears throat> I was pre-shuffling and um, when I stopped to start the camera, I saw the Nine of Pentacles under the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are embracing a new found um, singledom here. Okay. <clears throat> I think you're kind of struggling with it, but I think that um, you're on your way to being comfortable with it, though. You're on your way. Mm -hmm. You guys have been through a lot of shit here. This is this is Saturn karma. This is all about lessons learned, karmic lessons learned, endured. OK, and you're coming out on the other side of this as a fool. Doing something that you haven't done before, having a brand new start, and doing it with enthusiasm, I feel. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy. <clears throat> Three of Swords here. There's some sort of disappointment that um, I feel like this person that you are, that is significant to you, there's some heartache attached to them. Okay, and I feel like this person is not expecting you to maneuver the way that you guys are maneuvering right now. Aquarius is here. They're, they just weren't expecting it. I feel like for a while, you guys, like, you remained in a situation um, for a long time and probably longer than you should have. Okay, let's see what this is. Yeah, but things are changing. <laughs> the will is turning in your favor. The will is turning in your favor. And I feel like it, it took, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. You guys have endured, I feel like, the worst. The worst of situations. Sagittarius, Piscean energy here. Mm hmm. You've suffered. You've suffered, I feel, with this person. This person was someone that you thought was going to be, you were going to be with this person. Like, this was your forever person. And I feel like um, something has definitely shifted in you to where you're no longer dealing with things or people who prove to be a disappointment to you time and time again. So I, I definitely get that the tide's changing here for you guys, okay? And this person is not happy with it. They're not happy with it at all. They're not happy with it. But they are coming to grips with it. They're coming to grips with that things have changed and and I feel like you guys are moving on. Um, again, Scorpio energy. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy present here. Okay. Ten of Swords. Yeah. Breaking up, moving on. I mean, I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you guys are tired of, of feeling um, despair. You're tired of feeling hurt, stabbed in the back. You're tired of it. A new day is dawning for you is what I'm getting here. There is a breakup on the horizon for you guys. Okay. You've got a very controlled, um, cold-hearted and I don't want to say cold hearted because that sounds so horrible. Um, but this person comes across that way. Very non filling. Um, a heartbreaker. A heartbreaker. Somebody that, uh, you know, uses their words like in a horrible, horrible way. Um, plays mind games with you. Says things to like deliberately hurt you. But I feel like it control you. But I feel like that's backfiring on them okay tar not taurus but libra um gemini aquarius energy is <clears throat> backfiring the knight of cups yeah you're embracing these changes you're embracing these changes and moving forward and you're determined you're determined to get what it is that you deserve here okay the hierophant and you're standing your ground you're standing your ground you know what it is that you want and what you won't accept from someone. Okay? No longer letting people just, you know, cross your boundaries. S setting those boundaries and sticking to them. 
and holding people accountable. You are holding people accountable here. What does this person really want with Virgos? I feel like this person has been like um, pressuring you guys to like marry them as well. Because they really, maybe that's something that you either wanted or they wanted. And um, it, it's, it's like to hold you there. Whatever it is that you guys are wanting or wanting to see this person do or come from this person, I feel like they'll, they'll say whatever it is or do whatever it is that you guys want because they don't want you to leave. Hmm. What does this person really want with Virgos? What do they really want with Virgos? Queen of Pentacles. Some of them just want you to remain there for them, to be there for them as a support system, um, emotional support, primarily financial support for some of you guys here, okay? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. I feel like this person is very, very toxic. Um, I do feel like that they are quite possibly an opportunist. They they like people who they can like be able to get something from that benefit them. I feel like they're very emotionally, mentally manipulative, um, mean. Okay, they can be very mean, cruel sometimes. The Eight of Swords here. Mm -hmm. I do feel like you guys struggle um, with the... You struggle with actually leaving this person. I think because you're used to them. But at the same time, you can't get over some of the bullshit that this person has put you through. And it, it kind of keeps you trapped in your head thinking about, I feel like, you know, if you're good enough. A lot of you question if you're good enough. Just because of how you guys have been treated. But you are deserving to get whatever, you know, good things are to come your way. And I feel like in order for you to get this, you're going to have to release this negative energy. Okay? You're going to have to release it because this person, I feel like, wants to keep you trapped. Wants to keep you um, in, their, in their grasp. They don't want to let you go. I feel like they, this person is very manipulative, I do feel, because um, it's like they want you to feel like they're okay with whatever changes that you guys are doing for yourself, but they're really not okay. I feel like this person is really kind of plotting and planning and, and you know, to keep you locked down and to keep you thinking about them, to keep you with them. They may come across like they are, you know, happy if you're happy but I don't get this person's happy if you're happy I think it makes them feel very small and vulnerable when you guys are happy and strong so there's a definite definitely a tie that I feel like you guys um, need to break because they do want to keep you like tied into them is the thing and not in a good way okay They want to keep you tied into them, not in a good way. I feel like if this person feels like, you know, you you were looking for them to admit to some wrongdoings, they will do that. Not necessarily that they mean it, but I feel like they will do that. Um, so definitely use your discretion when it comes to this person. If this person is offering to get married, to keep you there, use your discretion, okay? But I do feel like they want to keep your mind, like, with them. They want to keep like a hold on you. But this is somebody that, I mean, you have a very toxic connection with here. Very toxic connection. Capricorn, Gemini, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Um, 
uh, possibly Leo energies here as well, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.